So I sold at about $14.20. $14 that last phase was just the FOMO crowd, guys. A complete FOMO crowd. They've all probably lost money now because they haven't got an exit strategy. And that's where the big players started selling. And now we went all the way back down to $10. Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel as always. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna do a quick fire price update for the price of Bitcoin. We are finding support around that $10,000 area. And I think there is some interesting stuff to mention. And we, and we had that massive move from the boys as as well the boys are scamming as usual guys um we're gonna make this really quick this video guys also video the video format is gonna change a little bit i am moving to germany on tuesday next week so i am gonna be packing up all my stuff away uh moving to germany and stuff like that so it's probably gonna be more like handheld kind of videos but uh yeah i'm gonna be documenting my journey there as well using like my crypto cards and everything but it's gonna be interesting man i'm moving to germany and then i'm moving out, then i'm actually moving to portugal in january so uh we'll see what happens anyway but um guys let's dive into the price make this super quick and uh, i'll see you in there um and also guys like and subscribe really helps support the channel um you're all legend i'll see you in there now okay guys let's dive into it and this is the price of itty bitty bitcoin of course so uh, guys, really simple. So we had the uh, the consolidation range up here. We said when the, the, the everyone gets too bullish, guys, we're going to see some type of crash. We've been through that a million times. It happened, guys. Up here, it was I was saying on the channel, be cautious. Don't go 100x leverage long. Never do 100, 100x anyway, ever. Um, but yeah, so we've had this pullback. Now, let's just make this really simple, guys. So we are in kind of a choppy little... Uh, it, you could, it, In my opinion right now, guys, this looks quite good. It didn't, it didn't look very good good when we were coming back down here i'll zoom in on the five minute in a second but i just want to stay out on the, on the higher time frames because i don't usually do anything under the hourly but i do believe that it's important to look at the five minute actually on this type of consolidation so um guys look we've got uh this is going to be resistance this is going to be resistance if we can get above here um, you know, we could move up to 11k quite nicely. If we can't and we break this previous low, guys, I think it's very, very likely we're going to fill the CME gap. Um, I think it's likely actually we're going to fill the CME ga gap period because uh, 9.6 is all it's got to do. And I think that's, uh, it's not, like the market doesn't need to do it, but it would be very confluent. And also, and we get it out of the way because there's so many people. Look, when everyone starts staring at something and, you know, it, it's, it's probably not going to go there that every, when everyone thinks it's going to go there. But eventually it probably will because big players, you know, big whales will want to see something like that happen and then get in. Because obviously, guys, we know CME gaps do fill. Uh, they have a high, there's a very high probability that CME, CME gaps do fill. Um, so, guys, let's talk about the, 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 uh, the boys, right? So, on the five minute, guys, you can see here we had this mental wick to the upside. It went all the way up to $10,400 or higher actually $10,450 on BitMEX. Guys, BitMEX is literally like built for the boys to like scam people. Uh, they are losing their market um, lion share of the market BitMEX slowly because there's so much new competition. But let's talk about this guys. Let's explain what, what this is all about. As you can see guys, when the, when the price was coming down here, we knew in the, in, I'll go, I always I forget to say as well, guys, join the trading group. If you want to get like even more up-to-date price analysis, join the trading group. I'm in there all the time. All of our, we've got an awesome M MDX squad of people in there. Um, really sick trading group right now. So definitely join that. Um, so guys, um, we can see on the Neo Beer Tank on BitMEX, because obviously that wick was BitMEX, we had this huge area of prolonged amount of short sellers. And what we were seeing, guys, as this price was coming down here, we were seeing more and more short sellers coming into the market along here. So let me just point towards it, kind of like here, right? More and more people were shorting the market. And what this is literally is full manipulation, guys. The boys, they pushed it down to make it so it was a new low. So it looked like we were trending down. And then when everybody starts piling in saying, guys, we made a new low, we're going, we're going to fill the gap, da, 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 da. bang, they wick it up. It's complete manipulation, guys. You've got to be really, really careful on the channel, guys. And in the trading group, we were saying it looks bearish, but stay tentative because I think there's going to be a move like this. It happened. And now, look, guys, now all the shorts got wiped out. Now the price is beginning to rally again. And in the, in my opinion, guys, it looks pretty constructive. Like, let's go back on the hourly and let's invert the chart, guys, because I like inverting chart when I'm, I'm really deep. I'm good at spotting tops, right? Um, so what I do is if I want to try and spot a top, if I'm good at spotting tops, um, just invert the chart, guys. So as you can see, there's a few things to note here, guys. Like at the end of the day, we are kind of in a triangle, um, which is kind of coming down. Like if we come back down again and we keep retesting that top line, so say if I extend this out, if we keep if we keep retesting that, it is basically an ascending triangle. Obviously, on a, it's going to be a descending triangle on the normal charts. But 
in my opinion guys the, the, the more times you're going to test a support or resistance level the more likely it is to break it's almost like you're hitting it with a hammer you know we've hit it here we've hit it here we've hit it here if we keep hitting it eventually we're gonna we're gonna force our way through and go through the ice and then that's where i think we will break and and, and fill the cme gap which will be up here on the invert chart so the this is that's the that's the bearish case. The bullish case would be this, guys. Um, look, look, how would if this was if you're looking at a top, what would you want to see? You want to see this come back down and then make a lower low, right? So this is obviously on invert, so it'd be a higher high. But uh, this can get confusing. But what we want to see is it break this level here, guys. So this yellow line's it's it's good enough. Find support. Let me just get rid of those. We want to we we want to come up, find support, and then bounce. And then I do think the target will be 11k. When we get to 11k, guys, um, I do think that we're going to see some resistance and potentially, you know, what I think might happen is a lot of people will be going long on the Neo Biotang. A lot of people will be going long in general. Momentum indicators will then be a little bit exhausted. And I do believe if we don't fill the CME gap now, which we very well could, I think we could come up come back down and then quickly wick down, fill the CME gap, find support, and then maybe begin another uh, kind of trend upwards, right? That's pretty much it, guys. You know, that is what I'm looking at. Also, I want to show you a few other things. I've been having quite a lot of fun and testing out the eight, this, this indicator here. This indicator is nothing new, guys. Um, I have used it before, and I do know traders who do use it. And it's very similar to the his, um, historical volatility percentile. Um, but it does get, it is actually pretty darn good, guys. Every single time this gets to ultimate lows. So the way I've been looking at this, guys, when this gets below 20 on this indicator, what you're doing is when you get below 20, you're waiting for a big move to happen. So if you go on the if you go on the hourly, guys, let's go to an area where it was it was reading 20. So along here, guys, the ATR indicator was reading 20. Okay, when it's below 20. Um, you're getting to an, uh, an area where the volatility is so low, you're preparing for a big move. I think we're going to have to, volatility is going to be very important in the future, guys, because we'll, when we go into an uptrend, what, we, what we're what we going to want to see uh, is we're going to want to see this indicator come back down. And when we get to these low 20 areas, again, where volatility is low, um, we're, we're going to want to see, it's going to be a good indication for the next move higher. And I know that the historical, because a lot of you guys use the historical volatility percentile as well, this indicator does it in a very good job of that as well. But I think having both of these is going to be really, really key. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm going to, we're going to see a potential if this does you know if we do hold support around 9k we're going to see something guys similar to 2017 it's not going to look exactly the same obviously um but we're going to see these big run-ups right we're going to see these big let me make the chart look a bit like this we're going to see these big run-ups and consolidations down and then we're going to see these areas these mid areas here of low volatility and then but when it goes low volatility we're going to see another rise down mm, slightly low volatility obviously this is on on the the curve of an exponential trend but if we went a little bit further back guys you can see here that we have these pumps we go sideways we dump and then we have low volatility and then we start the next cycle so if we're going to be seeing an uptrend like this is what they say guys um the bulls take the stairs the bears jump out the window and that is couldn't be any more you know if that's indicative of a very nice like organic uptrend right uh, so that's what we would want to see let's have a quick look at chain link guys so obviously you guys um you, you guys have been watching the channel for a long time we did recently trade under uh ten dollars so obviously everyone was laughing at me for saying when we were going up that chain link was going to trade under ten dollars i'll put something on the screen now actually i did a, i did a tweet and a post on my on my trading group about that uh it's funny guys like i've said i've said a few things on this channel guys and people did ridicule me they said i was stupid they said i was an idiot you're gonna miss this you're gonna miss that and guys at the end of the day the market has come back and it has wrecked the herd what, what happens is guys when you get these parabolic moves uh, in this area here so i sold at about 14 14 dollars 20 that last phase was just the fomo crowd guys a complete fomo crowd they've all probably lost money now because they haven't got an exit strategy and that's where the big players started selling and now we went all the way back down to ten dollars for uh, looking at chain link though guys I, if we can actually like you know range out in this between here and here these two um these two highs i do believe that chain link um could play um could like you know create a structure a long-term structure of support and then have a much uh when when bitcoin then turns around as well we could see a lot more upside from chain link i don't think the fundamentals are broken in chain link obviously i just think the price has just gone down and guys we've got to remember the smp as well we are having a little rally as well so if this is just a little blip on on the longer term trend up uh this is going to bode well for bitcoin which means we could see 11k you know the, the correlation between these two markets is amazing but uh it's a nice easy video today guys i'll put some videos on the screen now uh 
for some trading videos and stuff and join the trading group. Just wanted to get some of my thoughts out there on the market. But overall, guys, um, see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Cheers. Bye.